Good morning, hello. It's Tuesday the 30th of March, so we're heading towards the end of this month. Just bear with me while I check that I'm live in the right place. I've got Jason's iPad this morning, so. Okay, I'm in the right place, that's always good to know. Hopefully there'll be some people joining us this morning. Um, we are on week three of Stamp and Chat, and that's the Sweet Strawberry Stamp and Chat. So I'm gonna, just gonna enlarge that, but it's not loading on my iPad, but I can see that I'm live. I can see there's a couple of you joining. Please do say hello if you're stopping by. Not seeing comments on this iPad though. I don't have an iPad. Um, I do, do need to get one though. How do I see comments? Ah, okay. I've sussed it. <laughs> she of little technology info. Um, I'm rubbish. Morning, Jacqueline. How are you? The sun is shining. It's fresh out there though. And it was really dewy on the grass this morning. So we had really wet paws to contend, contend with. Um, after the early morning wander around the garden, but it was beautiful out there. A little bit fresh though. So how are we all doing? I'm just going to hang in here while a few people come in and then we're going to get on with some stamping. Who else is joining? So another week, another weekend has gone. I don't know where the time is flying, honestly. I don't know if it's an age thing. I don't know if it's a COVID thing. Morning, Belle, how are you doing? Um, but the weeks just seem to be flying by and it is quite scary. Um, dare I say it, we're gonna be thinking about the big C word before we know it, especially in the world of crafting. We like to be ahead of ourselves. So who else is popping on? Trying to catch comments on my phone, so I'm probably not looking where I should be looking. Yes, yeah, so we had a busy weekend. Um, I did pop on on Saturday, got some projects to share with you after. Um, and I thought I would just hop on over here and share share a little card that I made using the Arrange the Wreath bundle. Um, it's just behind me there, you might see it over my shoulder. And it was really nice to have quite a few pop on. So I'm thinking that I might do a regular, not an every Saturday slot, because as the summer comes on, life's gonna get busier. We're hoping to um, get away more at the weekends in the motorhome, that's the plan. Uh, so we'll just have to see how things go, but I would, I do think a Saturday morning is a good time to kind of hop on. Jacqueline, love seeing your craft room in the background. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, I've got lots of sorting out to do over here, but there never seems, I, I'm always busy planning, designing, creating, cutting, and you know, it seems like there's never time to think about sorting. So I've got lots, all the stamps that you're seeing behind me, they're not all current. I do hang on to some of my retired stamps, um, but I need to have another good sort out because obviously we've got last chance list up at the moment got quite a few products that are going I've got a few die sets that are going and I will hang on to some of it that I really do love although I do find that I tend to only use current products so it doesn't pay to sort of hang on to stuff for too long being a demonstrator it's really sad um, but at the end of the day they are kind of like a business tool as far as I'm concerned but there are things that I love that I can't bear to part with and I will say that since I joined Stampin' Up in 2009 I've held on to every celebration stamp set that we've had, um, compared to part with a lot of them. So, but I'm, I'm hanging on to those anyway. Okay, right, I think we best get down to some stamping. So I'm gonna turn you down onto my desk. You're gonna see the cards that we've made over the last couple of weeks. And then we'll get stamping with the card week for week number three. So for those of you that are joining, who are stamping live with me maybe, I'm sorry if you still haven't got your punch. Um, they will be coming very soon. Um, so pull out your kits, pull out your red, real red ink pad, and bear with me while I turn you down. Always a painful part. You're gonna see my ceiling for a moment until I bring you into shot. 
light on. All the things you have to remember when you're doing the Facebook Live. See in the palm of my hand. Okay. Bit of light on the subject. Wait for catch up. And I'm just going to put this on large screen. Focus you, get you straight. Zoom you in a little bit if we can. And then take my grid paper down once I'm happy. Okay, so how are we all doing? Belle, I've not managed to catch up. I've started watching your replay, um, but I had Vivi yesterday and the day kind of ran away with us and bath time and dinner time for her seemed to come round so fast. Um, she's such a busy little bee, bless her heart. She also asked to come over here to do some stamping. So we did come over um, and she, I've got one of the little mini Sizzix die cutting machines, the little tiny one, I think it's called a Sidekick. And she, she knows how to use it. She knows, I've got some tiny embossing folders and she can put the paper in the embossing folder. She knows which plates to use and run it through. And it amazes me because she's not even three yet. And so she made a beautiful picture. She punched out some circles from some, from some old wrapping paper. And I gave her some, I had an old kit that had some doilies in and some glitter cardstock. And she punched out some things and stuck. So she had a whale of a time. So our day ran away with us, which is why I didn't get to catch up with you live. So I've started watching this morning and I will catch up as soon as I am done here. So you are seeing the last two weeks cards. Sorry, I need to just minimize. I'm not seeing the comments. So these are the, the last two weeks cards. So lots of strawberry nest going on. Today, let's move those out of the way. I've got some of my stamps out ready. Today we are creating card number three. So kind of in my world, I would say the same but different. So obviously, when I create my kits for the stamp and chat round, everything coordinates in, in the colourway that I've used. So I will always be using for this round, crumb cake, real red and basic white. So um, you will, the cards will all be kind of what I say, the same but different. So they're all going to look very, very similar, but they're going to be a lovely set when they're all together. Going to be a really nice set together. So if there's anybody hopping on who is not a demonstrator or a member of my team, I would much appreciate a little share. And I've got some a couple of cards to give away to anybody who's sharing, I will put names in a pot and just pull them out randomly and send the, the card that I made on Saturday that I will show you after using the arranger wreath. So a share would be much appreciated. If you are catching up with me via YouTube on the replay, if you're watching, if you could just comment hashtag replay, that would be really helpful so that I know when, when you've caught me. Okie dokie. Let us start. So pull out card pack number three. Let's put those just to one side. You'll need a basic white base layer. We've got an insert and a layer for the front of crumb cake. We've got a strip of this paper that has retired, so to speak, but it's kind of been archived. It will be coming back in the... I think it's August to December mini catalogue. So like our Christmas supplement, it's called the Heartwarming Hugs. I believe it will be coming back, um, which is unusual because we don't normally have DSP return. The Stitched So Sweetly dies, which I'm using for this whole round. A little piece of crumb cake that I've embossed using the Subtle embossing folder, which is retiring. I'm going to show you that one later. And then another little label from the Stitch So Sweetly and a strip of Pear Pizzazz cardstock. You will also need your Memento ink pad. Let's pop those to one side. 
and we're going to mount up that we've done every week. So I'm going to apologise for those of you that have watched the other two recordings on this or gone back onto my Facebook page and you're catching up. Um, but this is, when you buy a Builder Punch, this is a really good way of making it easy to stamp out your images all in one go. And basically I've just taken a piece of black cardstock, I've opened up my punch and punched out the, the shapes. And then what we're gonna do, move you out of the way, I'm gonna pull out the outline stamps that we need. So the leaf, the strawberry, oh, I'm gonna need that flower as well. And the little flower, so one, two, three, four, and then we need this flower as well, which goes with the small bloom punch. Morning, Ellie. Nice to have you join us. How are you? I am so disappointed this punch is on the last chance list. I've checked this morning. It's still available. Um, if you want this punch, and believe me, it is so, so usable. I believe it's down to £7.20. Absolutely amazing punch and great value so you will find lots of use from this um i still have my host code order open that will stay open until tomorrow right i think we're done with that apart from my greeting and i'll grab that in a moment so if you want to place an online order with me if it's over 30 pounds please don't forget to add my host code okay so all i'm doing is popping in I know some of you have seen me do this before, but for those that are hopping on, because there's a few of you on here, not that one. This is the way to stamp all of your images in one go and punch them out in one go at the same time. So I've just popped them all in like that. I'm just going to move that one so it's more central. I can just see like a white gap around all of them. I think we're there. Lay that down, take your block and just pick them all up in one go. And then they're all mounted on my block ready to stamp out. And then what I do is I leave that one in my case ready for next time. Okay, so bit of grid paper here. This spongy mat, that's going as well, guys. But we do have the the posh version of this with the grid already on. It is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's still only about £5.50. But you really do need a spongy mat when you're using our photopolymers. Let's mount that one before it goes walkies. Okay. Let's grab some spare basic white and I need on my card let's bring that in for those of you that might just be popping in three of everything so three strawberries three leaves and three stalks for want of a better word and then we'll have some spare flowers left over so memento ink pad because this is the only black that we have currently Let's just wait for catch up, make sure I'm in the right place so you can see what I'm doing. Don't think I need to zoom in anymore. We are kind of over to the right a little bit, aren't we? I'm faffing, I'm just moving you over a bit. Trouble is when you get talking, you don't concentrate on what's happening. And you're trying to watch in about three places at, time, at a time. Morning, Ruth. How are you doing? All good, I hope. So let's just ink up. My finger went in it then. See that? Wet wipe to the rescue. Always have a wet wipe handy. Just for when your fingers go in the ink. And I'm going to do just three today. Still got some left over in my little pot, but I will be using all of those. So any cards that I need to make extra, I'll be using up all of my leftover pieces. 
So we need three of those. And while we've got the black out, let's find a smaller piece just to do a couple of this bloomy flower here. So yesterday, something exciting happened. As a demonstrator, I received my own copy of the new annual catalogue. Guys, I am so excited about this. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm gonna hold my hand up and say, there's not been a lot of time to look at it. Having Vivi yesterday, and then by the time she went home, I cooked dinner and we actually sat down was almost ready for bed so and we were planning on an early night because Jason had to get get up at 4am this morning um to go to work he had to go and do some driving work so we were hoping to sort of get an early night in but it didn't happen well an early night for us is probably nine o'clock that would be an early night for us 10 o'clock Gone 10 o'clock is a late night. We're sad, aren't we? But, you know, that's the way we are. We're up early. I'm always awake early. So by the end of the day, I'm kind of ready to relax and go to bed. Not too late. I know some of you that are on here, you're up till like midnight. You're the night owls, but I've never been much of a night owl. So, right, what I'm going to do first. So, yeah, I haven't had chance. I've, I'm about halfway through flicking through the new annual catalogue. I've seen it online. So we've had a PDF online for a few days now, but you cannot beat the paper copy. So if there's anybody out there who would like to see that paper copy early, join my team. We have fabulous fun, don't we girls? We're part of a great community. You've got nothing to lose by joining. There's no pressure. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can just shop for a discount. Okay, let's get out some colours. So I included Real Red with your part of your purchase of the kits. And I'm using Pear Pizzazz. If you've got a Mossy Meadow, that would work really well with this set. But to be honest, because we're not using... Well, we are using a strip of Pear Pizzazz on here. But if you've got a darker green, it will blend, it will go... So don't fret too much about that. There's quite a few of you hopping on. Say hello if you're coming in. Don't be shy, we don't bite. Well, I don't. So I'm just going to ink up. Oh, that looks dark. It does dry lighter. Even on this leaf, I try not to talk too much when I'm stamping because I'm right by the microphone of my phone yeah even the leaf can you see the the depth that that stamp gives i think they're so clever so it's not a solid stamp it gives you a lovely depth right while we've got the peppers as out we'll do the stalks yes i'm super excited and then tomorrow not tomorrow what's today tuesday wednesday that was a bit crooked. Wednesday, no, Thursday even. Gosh, the days just go, don't they? It's hard to keep track. So Thursday, which is the 1st of April. I missed a bit there. We get to see, or actually we get to pre-order. We get to see a pre-order list as demonstrators. And we get to pre-order some new goodies. So I am super, super excited about that. Belle, the new catalogue is awesome. Yeah, who would want to wait? It's so pretty as well. The front cover, I love it. I'm not sure I can actually show it here. I think I can, but I want to double check before I do something wrong. Um, because we're not permitted to show you the inside of the catalogue yet. Not until it actually goes live. So... Yeah, and it's great because you get to choose things early. And of course, you get your 20% discount as well. And that's net 20%. Let's move that other ink out of the way. I can see something going flying in the air at the moment. So let's just fill in the strawberries. Let's 
ink pad's quite juicy and when I'm stamping and not holding onto the ink pad, it's lifting it. Beautiful. My flower is staying white, um, but as I said last time, I mean, look, look at the depth. Fabulous. Um, you could colour in these flowers. They look really nice done in a yellow. They kind of complement. So... Ellie, you need to have a proper sit down and flick through your paper copy. I know, I'm feeling that as well, but I just feel I need to get a lot done today. I think with not really working on Saturday morning properly, I did go live, which you could class that as work, but I didn't like prepare anything or plan anything. Um, and then having my day with Vivi yesterday, which was wonderful. Tuesday always feels like it's the beginning of my working week, which it is. And I'm on catch up, so I feel like I'm chasing my tail. So now, because we have used that lovely template, all of our stamps will line up directly with the punch. And we can punch them all out in one fail swoop. Like that. Out you come. So yeah, it's always an exciting time when we see new catalogues. So we don't get to order anything we want to from an annual catalogue. We get a list. So we will have to wait until tomorrow to see the list. Not tomorrow, Thursday. I'm out of I'm out of gist of my days already this week. So yeah, on Thursday morning, we will see the list and then we can choose what we would like. And another great bonus as well is that during the celebration period we've just had, as a demonstrator, I got to earn, had an opportunity to earn some free product credits, which is another bonus about being a demonstrator. Oh, I cannot pick anything up. Another bonus of being a demonstrator is that we get free things as well. So, right, here's my little pot. Look, I've still got lots left in here from previous, but as I've said, I will be using those on some other cards. I'm just having a little shake over there. Right, let's bring in our bits and pieces. I'm going to do up my ink pads because we do not want anything falling in those. Oh, this one is stiff. As I was saying, Real Red isn't a colour that I use very often. Um, even at Christmas, I think my, my choice of colour for Christmas is usually Cherry Cobbler. But of course, it always depends what DSP, what pattern paper Stampin' Up! bring us as to which colours coordinate with with it so that does have a new factor and talking of dsp that new catalogue i was talking about i love all of the pattern papers that are in there it's going to be dangerous and i'm thinking maybe that you guys might want to you guys as customers that is have be part of a paper share where you get a few sheets of each or a sheet of each a small piece of each so I will be looking into that as well. So I just want to make sure that once the catalogue goes live, we actually know what the status is of shipping because obviously we've had a few shipping issues with customs. Um, and I don't know whether the problems that have been happening like in the Suez Canal, whether that's going to have a, a knock-on effect on, on us. I do not know. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I don't watch the news very often. I put it on when I'm cooking dinner, um, but I don't watch a lot of news. So crumb cake layer, we are going to start oh, nails by popping it straight down onto our base. So let's get the Tombow in action. It hasn't been used for a couple of days, so might have sealed over on the end. So what happens is, if you think your tumbow is blocked, it probably isn't. Give it a shake, then like push firmly over the edge and that will just release 
It's not going to go now, is it? <laughs> that will just release. Let me get a scrap because I don't want it to splurt everywhere. It should just get rid of whatever. Right, now you can see. Well, I've given it a good squeeze. Can you see this here? There's probably a bit of dry glue just in the end. So what you need to do is just release that and then it will flow. And then usually it comes out with a vengeance like it is now. So I keep my Tombow stood up in a little pot so that it's always ready to go. But yeah, they just it just seals up even when it's on your desk. Like I always leave mine led down like this and it will just kind of dry up and seal over. So you just need to kind of take the dry edge off and take off the, um, and give it a little shake sometimes. So I'm just gonna give that a wipe. Okay, first layer is down. Next, your little skinny strip of pear pizzazz. This one measures five eighths, but I, I'm guessing it's just a strip that was in my scrap bags when I prepared these kits. So it's probably no, this measurement could be anything. It could be three quarters of an inch. Let me measure the crumb cake for you. So it's five and three eighths by three and three quarter. That's a typical measurement I will use for the first layer on a card. Sometimes it's an eighth of an inch bigger, but this one is five and three eighths by three and three quarter. And then the pear pizzazz is five and five eighths. So it hangs, I want it to hang over the edge of the crumb cake. So let's pop this down. Just above the bottom, like so. Like that, okay. Next can go on your, your piece of pattern paper. Let me show you what I've been using on the other, some of the other cards are our designer series paper stacks and th this one is the subtles obviously i pulled this one out because it's my favorite but just look oh delicious so if you've got maybe you're just creating these cards yourself if you've got any of the colors or the color families this is obviously an, the new one that's that's going into the annual catalog this is kind of a sneak peek but we already have these colors in a paper stack like this, but just different patterns. They're actually retiring because it's being replaced with this one, um, but just look how beautiful they are. If you've got a different color, you could use anything on here. So that's what I'll be using for the other, or what I have been using on the other cards. But I just loved this kind of check gingham -y pattern. I just felt it worked so well with, with the strawberries. Now, talking of this paper, oh, this is from the straw. Now I've confused myself. I've told a big fib because I have got myself confused with my sweet strawberry picnic class. Totally through you. So I'm not fibbing by saying this paper hasn't retired, hasn't retired because it has. It was an offering from the celebration, the berry blessings. Um, I've got some here actually. Oh, totally confused. So with my other class, I did use the heartwarming hugs. So do you remember this? Now I've got this out because I'm, I'm going to be offering these two as a private class. Um, but this is the paper that I've used for the round. But obviously, you cannot buy this paper anymore and you cannot buy that stamp set. So this is retired, sadly, and this won't be coming back. So when I said earlier, this paper will be coming back, it won't be. I was thinking it was from the Heartwarming Hugs, which I used on my picnic basket class. So please accept my apologies on that I'm giving you false information 
So next is going down the Stitch So Sweetly die. Let me bring in them all in just so you can have a quick look. Aren't they lovely? I show you these every week. <laughs> these are kind of, I feel they're going to be replacing my stitched labels that are going, um, which is so sad. So those are the stitch dies that have the circles, the ovals and the squares, a very usable set. So let's pop this layer. I might have just pulled you right out of shot. Let's pop this layer down and get my brain into gear, honestly. You probably all sat there thinking, well, that's not the paper from the Heartwoman Hugs. There we go. And then this piece here, don't know how well you'll be able to see that. I think you can see that. It's from the Subtle Embossing Folder, which is also retiring. So please do head over. If you go, it's probably easier, if you go to my website, kerrytims.co.uk, and you click Shop Now, that will take you straight to my online shop, and you can click on the link, which is right at the top. It's like a big um, scrolling um, bar. You can click on there, and it will take you straight to everything that is retiring and obviously if there's stuff that's already sold out it won't won't be on there so next let's take some strawberries and add on their stalks okay let's give these a little curl while we're here What are you doing under there? Alf is right under by my feet again. Bless him. He's going for a haircut tomorrow, which I expect is quite exciting from him because secretly he does love a bath. He looks very sad when he's having a bath, but I think that, that look of sadness is actually joy. He loves it. So he'll be coming back smelling sweet tomorrow afternoon. So a bit of Tombow. I just put a little dot in the centre at the top of the strawberry and just pop the stalk on and then let it sit for a minute. Like that. And going to be adding some mini dimensionals behind probably just one of them what I think I want to do first though is pop my greeting on here so that I know where it's going so that I can then place my strawberries around it for this card today I'm going to use the that was so sweet of you and this is kind of like to me this is a thank you greeting so someone's done something for you and you're replying them replying to them by saying that was so sweet of you and it could follow with on the inside thank you and this one fits lovely in this little label like that and there we go so that one's done love the stitched part of these dies okay have a quick look at comments. So this one I'm going to pop on dimensionals as well. So if you're hopping on, it would be lovely if you could share, share this live to your Facebook page. That way your friends get to see what I'm doing. And it may be that it's not of interest to them, but they might know somebody that who might like to watch along or have a go at stamping, doing something creative themselves. So anybody who's sharing, I will be able to see after we've gone live. Um, I'm gonna send you a card in the post. I'm gonna put your names in a pot and randomly pull one out. Well, I'm gonna pull two because I've got two cards that I made on Saturday and I'm gonna pop them in the post to you. And it would be much appreciated because every little bit of sharing 
there's a hair on there helps so I'm just going to start laying down my strawberries pop a leaf behind this one morning Judy how are you how nice to have you on here how are you doing just feels like forever that I've seen you it kind of is a very long time I know but it just feels like ages and ages since I've seen some of you. I know some of you as customers, when I'm doing local drop-offs of orders or kits, I do get to see you, which it's just priceless. From a distance, of course, you know, a little social, socially distance doorstep chat. Right, so I'm gonna pop that one there. Um, but some of you I've not seen for such a long time I cannot wait until we're able to gather safely. I'm talking of that actually this morning, just before I came live, I had a text from my surgery to say that I can book for my vaccine, which is fabulous news. Okay, I'm going to give this flower a bit of life. And then this one that I punched out with my small bloom punch, but first I need to pop my leaves in so that I know what space I've got left for the flowers. So I think I don't want that to be overhanging too much, otherwise it's not going to fit in the envelope. Okay, and then the larger flower I'm going to pop down here bit of tomb on the back Judy have you had your catalog yet has yours arrived let's just hold that down for a moment you're almost done which is good because I've got a couple of things to share with you after we will need some linen thread. Yes, of course, Jacqueline, I do not expect anybody who is already a demonstrator to share my live. That's totally understandable. And I did say that earlier. Um, obviously, it doesn't make sense for us to do that as demonstrators, to share each other's things. But for any of my customers that are watching, even if you're in in the wings there you're not chatting with us but you you are watching maybe you're doing something you've got me on in the background or um yeah do um please do share it does help me so i've just unwound a bit of linen thread i need a glue dot to attach this and because it's on the reel it's very springy so i've just pinched it ran my nail down it and it just straightens it out So, tie a little bow. I was trying to teach Vivi to tie a bow yesterday. I think she's a little bit young for that. She's not even three yet, <laughs> but she tries. We've got um, like this little educational soft bear and it, it asks you to do things. And one of them, it's got a lace on its shoe and she tries, bless her. She holds both ends and she kind of goes like this with them but the bow doesn't happen and then she looks at me. Nanny do it. There's our bow. Bless her little heart. Judy's giving the game away here. <clears throat> she's saying she's seen some pansies that she likes. So there's a little clue for you, those who are not demonstrators. There could be some pansies coming our way. I'm sure we're allowed to say that. So I've just popped on my bow. And then finally, we're going to add some pearls. So these are our basic pearls. Thankfully, these are carrying over. Jacqueline, you like the pansies too. Yeah, I know. 
I think I did get to that page in the book. Also, something else beginning with P. The peaches. Let's not say any more. Oh, before I do this, before I put them on, I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight. And this is the light one. I don't have the dark. If you've got a darker yellow, it would work better. But you can just colour over the top. And you can do this with anything. If you've got... um. A sharpie pen say maybe in gold or copper because I've got both of those oh, I only need two but I've done three you can color in these pearls which I think is really good and obviously our different colors of blends will work really well for that as well so we also have coming up a really exciting event which has to be online of course um, We've got our on tour, which is a demonstrator only event. Normally we meet in person, which it makes me sad to think about that, that I'm not going to be seeing all of my demonstrator friends um, face to face again for a little while. But the time will come and that's what we have to cling on to, guys, is that we are moving forward with this. And soon the time will come, we'll be able to meet face to face um, and hopefully, I'm not sure life will ever be exactly the same again, but it will get much better. So there we go. My card is done. Let's get that in shot, just so you can see. Really, I think it's really simple. The punch and lining up the stamps all on one block, like this, take out the hard work of lining things up. It's kind of all done in one go. So there we are, that's card three. We've got two more weeks, guys. And talking about next week, I'm going to have to shift my Tuesday Facebook Live, let me bring in the other two cards, to probably Wednesday, um, because it's bank holiday next week. So we've got a nice long weekend, um, but Coles is switching working days. So I'll be having probably FC next week but on Wednesday and not Tuesday on Tuesday and not Monday oh gosh my brain is frazzled I need a good night's sleep that's what I need um thank you all for your love about my cards thank you yes yeah, so next week's live will be different but I am I am hoping with I'm going to be checking out the last chance list and maybe just hopping on randomly with some Facebook Lives about products that are going. As I was saying on Saturday, I've got lots of samples here of cards and projects that I've created with products that are, are actually going. So I think it would be nice to just share those over with you. You can see my phone is sliding, moving it down a bit because it's not in its holder straight. Okay, let me bring in what I did on Saturday. Some of I know some of you hopped on and said hi on Saturday, but I used the Arranger Wreath stamp. Well, I didn't really use the stamps, but they're part of a bundle. I used the Builder Wreath Builder dies and I made this card on Saturday, but this was the one I did previously, so it's using vellum cardstock and the retiring now the words gone out of my head are they gems are they oh it's gone anyway the brain has the brain has gone today it's gone somewhere else for a while so i will be anybody that shares obviously if you're not a demonstrator if you would like to share the live, I'll be posting out a card to somebody. I'll randomly pick somebody. So that's what I made on Saturday. And I loved creating those. Lots of die cutting um, to create the projects. The other thing I just wanted to share with you is something else that's retiring. And that's the Boho Indigo product medley. Now... I did a class on this and um, these are a couple of items that we created. So we've got Night of Navy and Misty Moonlight and we used the stamps on the dies and this ribbon I believe is in the medley. Let me grab the papers 
and remind you of how much it is. So here it is in the book. I mean, look at it, it's stunning. I will be sad to see this go. I absolutely love the dies. It's got 40% off. It was in stock this morning when I checked. It's down to £39. You get in here, the whole paper pack that I'm gonna show you in a moment, you get two rolls of ribbon, you get die cut pieces, foiled pieces, you get, I think I just said that, but stamps and dies. You get some gorgeous little embellishments. I'm going to show you them. Um, it's such a fabulous medley. I mean, £39 for all of this is amazing. And I made quite a few things with this set. So let's just bring out. So you get these gorgeous flowers that have got like a little wooden bead in the center and you get two sizes of those these are all my scraps see look a crafting girl never throws away her skinny strips because they'll always be useful come out of the way so we have all of this dsp which i should imagine is 48 sheets which is usual i mean look at the patterns they're stunning they're double-sided, okay, absolutely beautiful. Then you get some gorgeous die-cut labels and flowers, and they're foiled, as you can see. I don't think I've used any of these. That is a crime. That is a crime. Time has just run away, and we have so many lovely pro products to play with, um that sometimes I just don't get round to using things. And then when we have a new catalogue, we go into like panic mode, don't we girls? We're like, we need to use this, we need to use that. So these are beautiful. Jacqueline, you'd love to receive one of my cards. Sweeter, I'll be posting one to you for sure. I will post you one. Um, message me your address privately and I will get one of those in the post to you. Look at these. Um, I love plants. I love my foliage in the house. I have to be honest, I've lost a couple of my bigger plants. Since we put the heating on in September, um, I don't know what's happened, but I seem to have, I'm, I'm watering the same as I have been for the last couple of years, but they seem to be going a bit brown on the edges. So, yes, yeah, such a lovely medley. It's not called a bundle, it's called a medley. And then you've got these gorgeous embossed sheets. And these aren't white. They're not basic white. They're more vanilla. Can you see that? They're more vanilla. I don't know if the light shows it very well here. So, so yeah, this is the Boho Indigo product medley. An absolute steal at £39. So I wanted to just share that with you. Let's have a quick look at the dies. I mean, look, they're just so gorgeous. So many options and very usable, very versatile to make an array of different projects with those. So, yeah, stunning. So Jacqueline, which card would you like? A boho indigo? You can comment me. Or the arranger wreath bundle. Let's pop all of that to one side, bring in today's card, and then I'm going to bid farewell and go and have some breakfast. So there we go. Lovely little set, beautiful strawberries. If you're coming in and you don't know what we're doing, we've used the sweet strawberry stamp set, which comes with a fabulous builder punch that is on back order, I believe, but it will be coming very soon. So there we go. So yes, thank you all for joining me. Um, it's been lovely to have you with me this morning. I will be back very soon. It won't, I won't leave it until next Wednesday. I will be back very soon with some more projects. Um, I've got things to share for my sixth card in the class post. I think I've only got one or two 
kits left. So you get six card kits in the post and they're 12 pounds. So I'll probably be sharing a bit more on my Insta and on my stories about that class as well. So lots going on. Um, head over to kerrytims.co.uk and click on the shop now with button if there is anything that you would like to purchase. Um, but also I have my new events website there. So if you cl click on the classes and events, it will take you over to my events website. You can see what classes I've got coming up and you can book on to anything via there. So thank you all for joining me. Please Please take care, everybody. It's been lovely to have you, lovely to chat with you and lovely to have some company today. So I will say bye for now and catch up with you all very soon. So cheerio.